Hello everyone. Uh, I'm starting this new painting with a gouache underpainting. Uh, I blocked in my colors and uh, I tried to use complementary colors and I'm using pastel matte to work with. I hope you enjoy this painting. Uh, it's going to be about 15 minutes long. Here I'm starting to um, coat the sky a little bit lighter on the bottom towards where the mountains are. And I'm blending with my finger, which I don't normally do, but because it was pastel matte, I thought I can brush through here. And I didn't want to use any gloves this time. I usually wear gloves. Okay, uh, just smoothing out the background so I could get my trees against the sky. I'm using a very pale grayish uh, lavender. And now I picked up a blue, and I'm trying to create some texture where the trees are. If you notice, uh, the trees are pretty far away, so you can't really see actual trees, but you'll see a lot of texture in the background. And I'm trying to put some, some darker versions of my green trees here and there so I can get my shrubbery going. I've got a couple of poplar trees over there on the left that I'm going to work on. I'm just going to leave them... Um, real loose because they're pretty far away and they're very large. Uh, the sun's coming from the left side of the picture so I'm getting me some shadows and some just indicating where my lights and darks are going to be. And uh, it's one of those old style farms with a creek and a fence. The things we like to look at. They may not be so pretty in person but in a painting they're really pretty. I'm always attracted to them. Now you see why I put the uh, warm colors into the grass. Um, then when you start adding the greens, uh, the pinks and oranges uh, show up real nice. I work kind of slow, so I have to speed up my videos. I should be really bored to death. And I can't seem to talk while I'm painting. So, um, I have a terrible voice. Anyway, I lose kid, I lose track of how I'm talking, and I fade. You can't even hear what I'm saying. That's why I'm voicing over. Okay, here I'm trying to get uh, my barn uh, slats on. You see how you you just sort of scumble some colors in, and then add your other lines later. I call this the block-in stage, but I really. I'm not really blocking in. I think the first stage was the block in. I'm, I'm getting at it now. Getting my uh, different colors in uh, my barn. I couldn't really see the image of the barn when I went to draw this, so uh, I wasn't sure where to put my uh, darkest darks and lightest lights, but I, I work on that later. There's a lot of wild grasses in this photograph, and I don't want to get too lost in them, so I'm kind of losing, I'm making it look a lot looser than the photograph. With me, it was all about the color harmony in the, in the scene. I thought the colors were really pretty. Okay, now I'm working on those poplar trees. Bringing some sunlight into the grass. indicating where the creek's going to be. I decided to make um, this scene early fall, where some of the leaves are changing and some of the grasses are changing. It 
it's not a false thing. There's just a little bit of color in it. I'm probably working too fast. When I watch myself work, I think, why do I do it that fast? I wasn't real careful with my fence posts. But when you try to do this, be more careful. I'm always in a hurry. I just do it for fun. This one I'm doing for a Christmas present for somebody. I decided to do a bunch of paintings for some Christmas present for a craft exchange, for a gift exchange. Now there's a lot of these white grasses all over this one slope of the hill. I'm not sure what they are, <laughs> but I'm just trying to give the illusion of them. I just gradually get lighter and lighter as I work on it. Okay, here's my second session. I'm going to uh, try to get a little bit more detail in as I work on this. I'm analyzing what I don't like and what I do like. The next day, it's always easier to see what you like and don't like. Here I'm blending uh, out some of the, I have a little bit too much texture, so I'm trying to soften it a little bit. I decided not to use my fingers for this softening stage. Okay, the back, I, I kind of like that texture in the back. All the trees far away up in the hill. And then we've got a little, uh, little valley here, but it, you can see it going up another hill, that little pathway going up the right side. Okay, I'm ready to get going now. I think I'm just about blended. I'm trying to rub it in because pastel matte doesn't have a lot of tooth, so I'm trying to rub off where I have too much. And I don't like this black, but I don't leave it that way. When I finish, you'll see. I'll, I don't like black on any painting, but I was trying to show where my darks are going to be before I finished up. Okay, it's getting to the fuzzy stage. Now I'm about ready to start my detail work. 